Hello and welcome to another episode of my Quest System series. In today's episode we will start to work on one of the cores of our system, which is a Quest Journal. As you can see, I therefore imported some new textures that you can find in the video description. And that texture pack also includes some fonts that we will use. First, let's go to our Quest System folder and create a new one called Fonts. Then go back to our textures. Select all of the fonts, so Astra, Georgia, Georgia Bold, Georgia Italic, Georgia Bold Italic. And let's move them to our fonts folder. Then we can hit Ctrl S to save them. Let's go to our textures and select all of the new textures. Once you have selected all of them, right click and under Asset Actions we will bulk edit via Property Matrix. Then under Level of Detail set that to UI and under compression set that to user interface. Then you can hit Control S to save all of them. And that's it for our new assets. Next thing we'll have to do is to go to our enums. Right click and create a new enumeration. Call that E underscore quest states. Here we will need three entries. So one for our current quests then one f for the completed quests and one for all of the quests that we failed. Then save that and we can close it. Let's start with the creation of our sub widgets now. In this part we will only design our widgets and in the next one we will implement the functionality and variables that we will need. So let's go to our widgets folder, right click New Widget Blueprint and call the first one Quest List Entry. Open that up. Set that to desired on screen and remove the canvas panel. Then we will start with a size box. So search that. Drag that in here. And let's check width and height override. Width will be 304 pixels and height will be 65. Then we will add a button to that box. Call that the quest button. And let's set up the style. So under normal, search for an image and type in quest button default. Also draw that as an image. Then let's go to Hovered, search for Quest button Hovered, and also draw that as an image. Then to press, search for Quest button Press. Again, draw as an image. And finally for Disabled, we will search for Quest button Disabled. Also draw that as an image. Then we will add a vertical box to the quest button. Its padding will be 2, 0, meaning 2 to the left and right and 0 to top and bottom. Set that to horizontally and vertically aligned fill. And set the visibility to hit test invisible. Then we will add a text to it. Call that the quest name and check the is variable for that. Align that to the right. Let's type in some default text here. The first quest ever dot dot dot. And let's select one of our newly imported fonts. Georgia for example. Then lower the font size to 20 maybe. Looks fine. After that we will add a horizontal box to the vertical box. Give that a padding of 1 from the bottom and we'll set that to fill. Then search for another text. Drag that on top of the horizontal box. That will be the region name. And check the is variable. Default text can be Canto. Also align that to the left and vertically to the bottom. 
font type for that will be Estre and the size may be 16. Let's also expand the color and opacity and lower the alpha to 0.75 just so that the player's eyes are directed to the name and not to the region. Then we will add another text to the horizontal box and that text would just say LVL dot for level. It will be set to fill and horizontally align right. Type for that will be Esther again. Size of 16. Align that to the bottom vertically. And lower the alpha to 0.75 again. And we will need one more text, which is the actual level text or suggested level. Make that a variable. Default text can say something like 99. Font type will be Esther again. And this time maybe 20. Also we can give that a color. So for example, when the suggested level is much higher than the actual level of the player, we will give that slightly red tint to indicate that. Also let's give that a shadow. So under shadow color, increase the alpha to 1. Yeah, that looks fine. That's it for our quest list entry. Compile, save and close it. Then we will need another widget blueprint, which is called goal entry. Again, set that to desired on screen. Remove the canvas, start with a horizontal box. Then add an image to that. Let's call that goal state. And the default image for that can be completed goal icon or failed goal icon or current goal icon, doesn't matter. I will select failed. Align that to the left and to the top. Then we will need a text. Make that a variable and call that the goal text. Set that to fill. Give it a padding of 2 from the top. And the font type here will be Georgia with a size of 16. Let's also scroll down and check the auto wrap text. Let's lower the alpha to 0.8 and type in some default text like find the hidden treasure exclamation mark. Also make sure to align that to the top vertically. Then we can compile and save that one. The next widget will be called quest category. Double click. Decide on the screen and kill the canvas panel. Here we will start with a vertical box. Then add an overlay. Add an image. Which we will call background and uncheck the is variable. Set the visibility to hit test invisible and the image to category BG. On top of our overlay we will add a horizontal box and first add a button to that. Call that expand button. So when we hit that button, we will show all of the quest widget related to that category. For example, all of our already completed quests. We'll align that to the left and vertically to the center. Also go back to the horizontal box, set that to fill vertically and horizontally. Let's go to the style of a button now and for the image, search for expand button. Draw that as an image and give that a padding of 3 to the top. Then let's copy that for hovered and for pressed. Go to hovered and give that some kind of tint, something like light blue. And go to pressed, 
also give it a blue tint but a bit darker. Then we will add a text to our horizontal box. Call that category name. Default text type in something like current quest. Align that to the center vertically and horizontally to the left. Check the is variable and give it a padding of 5 to the left maybe. So there is a bit of space in between our button and the text. The font type will be Georgia. And we can leave the size at 24. Also let's go down to the shadow color make that opaque. Afterwards we'll search for another vertical box and add that to our first vertical box because later we will add all of the quest widgets to that box. Call that quest box. Make that a variable and scroll down to the visibility and set that to collapse by default. Then let's actually go to the event graph here and create a variable which is the assigned category. Make that editable and expose on spawn. The variable type for that will be e underscore quest states. And on event construct we will get our category, convert that to a string, enum to string, convert that to a text, drag in our category name and set the text of that to our category. Then compile, save and close that. Also we will need another widget that stores all of the other ones inside of it. That will be our quest journal. Open that up. Again set the setting to desired on screen. Remove the canvas panel. Here we will start with a size box. Check the width and height override. Width will be 900 and height 750 pixels. Here we will start with a border. Just call that background. Remove the child padding and go to the brush. Search for journal, quest journal BG. Then scroll down and set the visibility to self hit test invisible. Really important. Afterwards we will add an overlay to our background. On top of that overlay we will add a canvas. Set that to horizontally and vertically fill. And then we will add a scroll box to it. Call that the quest list. And check the is variable. Anchor that to the top left corner. The position in X will be 12 and in Y it will be 10. Then the size in X will be 300 and in Y 730. Then let's go to user created and add our quest categories to that. Call the first one cat current and set the category to current. Add another one Call that cat completed. Set the category to completed. And then add the third one. Call that cat failed. And select fail quests as its category. Then let's search for an image and drag that on top of our overlay. Set that to horizontally and vertically fill. And for the image, search for journal border. So that will separate our quest list and the detailed information about the currently selected quest. Also scroll down and set the visibility to hit test invisible. Let's uncheck the is variable and call that journal border. Then let's compile and save. That's everything we will do for now in here. But we can go inside of our main widget and search for quest journal, drag that in here, anchor that to the middle, call that journal, 
set the position in x and y back to 0 and the alignment to 0.5 in x and y so it appears in the center. Then we can compile, save and play and as you can see it generated our three different categories and we can press the button but currently nothing is happening. Alright, that's it for this episode. In the next one we will start to work on our widget's functionality and come back to our journal widget and add the details screen to it. See you in the next one.